So I'm just standing in the boat park here with Servi, just straight fresh off the race course. Servi didn't do any harm that Coco couldn't decide which way around to go around a mark, but um, otherwise, not a bad day for you guys. Yeah, I don't know. It was, I think everything went wrong for us today. It felt it was the weirdest race we've ever done. We were. I don't know, seemed to be going the wrong way, just, and um, I don't know. But it was shifty, wasn't it? It was a shifty, tricky day for sure. The first beat you seemed to get completely wrong, but you still were in amongst the leaders. Yeah, we at the top of the beat there, we just had a brain failure. <laughs> we got stuck in that hole in Rose Bay and we lost a lot. And then the run, the whole pack sort of got all congested and Cocker got that puff and just launched away. And yeah, it was just a weird day. It was a weird breeze. But on that Eastley, is that a typical Eastley course that uh, we see in Sydney Harbour? Yeah, it's always shifty, but I don't think it's ever been that bad. We've never had it like that. It was just ridiculous today. It was 10 knots to zero to 10 knots to zero. Like, it was just all over the place. And the last beat, though, you nailed that completely. Um, was that because you're actually in phase, or you, you got your eyes out the boat, or do you think you were lucky, or what happened? Um, yeah, no, we, we, when we tacked under Pure Blonde, we were really high on starboard, and they sort of, I think we leave out and they tacked off. I think they tacked because they had to to get a clear lane, and... We were just rotating, rotating, and then we knew if we got any rotation out of the left, we'd sort of come good. And we saw something up near Bradley's head and we just stuck their sort of guns and went to it and came out of there, which was a bit like <laughs> scary at times. <laughs> yeah, like a shifty day, scary as you said. But I mean, on the basis that you got a lot of the tactical stuff wrong, you were in the mix. That, that probably says your boat speed wasn't too bad today. Yeah, I think today is a hard day to sort of work it out. Like we didn't have any lanes off the start line, and we knew we had to get to the right and hung in people's gas to sort of get there. and. I don't know, it was just so shifty. It's not, I don't think today's a very good judge of speed, but no, it was all right. Anyway, another day, another win. Congratulations. Cheers, thank you. So, uh, I think they just didn't get their positioning and their tactics as right as they normally do. So, a long way to go yet. This course is an awful, I mean, not even a quarter of the way through the race course, so long, long way to go. I think they'll be staying pretty relaxed and pretty calm, take their chances to pick boats off one by one, and I've got a feeling they'll be top three by the end of it, possibly even in gold or silver medal. Let's see how it works out. So here with Michael Coxon, uh, Coco, it looked to us like you might have gone round an important mark the wrong way around. Was it entirely your crew member's fault? No, 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 totally my fault. I, um, you'd think after 12 or 13 years you'd know that easterly course, and um, we'd had a pretty good lead at that stage and just sort of coasting, and we are just going out, knock off, go around the mark, and then there was a bit of doubt, and uh, we, we actually, so at first we went round to starboard, which is the right way, and then there was a question of doubt, and then we've gone, no, 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 we unwound ourselves, and um, anyway totally my fault but um it wasn't until we kept going we we're just cruising on out thinking we'll check the guys behind we thought the guys behind did the same thing so i'm baffled then the last time in the bottom mark we noticed the rest of them did the same thing and uh yeah we figured we'd pull out but i can see my old man up in bradley's going when i was six years old telling you the most important thing to do is know the course so I, i'm expecting that good little lecture with the salt and pepper shakers um in a week's time. Excellent. Well, that's your top bit of advice for young sailors watching this yeah. sailing show. Go round the marks the right way. Well, that's what um, Dave O'Connor said. He he uh, he coaches a lot of guys with the North program and little Sabo kids, and he said that is the first thing he tells them. But uh, anyhow, yeah, what a shame. But we, we're having a good day. Yeah, well, thanks for the sailing lesson today, Coco. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Coco having a good look at this one. Needs to pick this this ley line. Needs to pick this well. Uh, of course, it depends which way Randy wants to go, of course. But assuming that he's going to go the same way as last time, leave to port. You think he'd be going about now? Well, he's but having a good look. Maybe he was going to leave it to starboard this time. Um, it's hard to tell. Yeah, that's an early for a starboard round, rounding. This looks like he's going to go around a port this time. Yeah, well, it's all about to uh, unwind itself as far Indeed. as this story of this race. I think he's going to go around the port for the second time. He's got a big white cruiser that's going to come right across his line, which is not going to be ideal for him. Well, the cruiser's slowing down. That's amazing. Very kind of the big white cruiser. <laughs> anyway, here comes Coco Jibes, and, and they'll drop at the same time. Then he's going to go around to port for the second time. This time he'll see the other boats going around the other way around. What will happen this time, Bob? Last time he was so far ahead he couldn't see the way that the other guys took the mark. Oh, he's going around the wrong way. No. So he's left it to port, port so he's, yeah. he's done two port roundings. We're clear about that. <laughs> now watch Pure Blonde. They're having a conversation about which way to go around this mark as well. Uh-oh, I've got a feeling he's dragging Pure Blonde the wrong way too. Look at this, here goes Pure Blonde. Or is she dropping? No, she's sneakily trying to make sure that Cocker doesn't get an early look and she's leaving it to starboard. Well, he's our leader. Well, well, good work by Pure Blonde. I've got a feeling there's a little bit of a fake there. They kind of intentionally got a deep ley line. Oh, maybe I'm giving them too much credit. Maybe uh. they just got the ley line wrong because that's a little bit of an ugly drop. So uh, anyway, Cocker didn't even watch which way around the other guys have gone around this mark. Uh, he's just carrying on sailing.